Let's welcome back to our gluten-free goddess, Sally Holland, who is in the kitchen with Chef Mark to create something delicious for Christmas feasting. That's right, we've got a treat in the kitchen today and it's all gluten-free as well and it's going to be fantastic for Christmas. So what are we going to be making today? We're going to be making a raspberry and mm. white chocolate. Mm. Yeah. Trifle. Mm. So now look, yes. we're going to talk more about gluten because you've got this book out which is fantastic. Your history with gluten means I've got some probing questions about <laughs> Christmas and gluten, okay? Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm pretty good in the kitchen too now. Nowadays, right. shall we? Oh, I've improved since Mike. last time you were here. Excellent. I'm pleased to hear it. <laughs> Great to have you with us. We are in the cafe kitchen, and look, we are delighted to welcome back our gluten author. She's a goddess as well. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, Sally Holland. How are you? Very well. Thank I just you think Mike. it was like Mother's yes. Day last year. It I think. Was. Yeah. It was May. Nice. Yes. And you've got a brand yes. new book out. Goodbye, gluten. Thank you. And I guess you know, with nearly one in seventy Kiwis, you know, mm. suspected of you know being gluten free or wanting to be gluten free, then this is a very important book, isn't it? It is. Yeah. It is. And it's a very important time too, because let's do Christmas gluten free with a trifle. Is that what we're making? We are. We're making a raspberry and chocolate trifle. Yum, okay nice. So what's the most important ingredient? Well the sponge okay. if you're eating gluten free because you've got to substitute the flour with a gluten free flour. And you've got that recipe of mm. gluten free flour in your actual book. I have, I've got the gluten free flour mix recipe in the book. Great. So you make that up and you just use that. Brilliant, okay mm. and Mark look he's, he's into it already. I'm what into are we it. Doing? Yes. What are we doing first? Right so to get going. So I'm just going to mix, I've got some uh, corn flour in here and I've yes. got some um, egg yolks as yes. well and I'm going to put some sugar in and we're going to make the uh, custard part Ooh. of the trifle. Oh, yum. And then also what we've done, because this takes about 10 minutes, we've put this, we've put some eggs in there, some yes. sugar in there and we just put the paddle attachment onto our um, mixer and we just beat it on a uh, full speed for about 10 minutes and then you get it nice and mm. fluffy like that and yeah, that's, that. that's what you want. That looks incredible. Yeah. And then we're going to finish the sponge now right. and this is how easy it is. Okay, good. And we're making a sponge like with no flour, because because when we said we were going to make a trifle, you can't have trifle without sponge, or yes. soaked sponge. Mm. Right. And then you know to, to have a, a gluten-free uh, sponge as well, you know, so it'll be interesting to see if it's nice and light and fluffy and, and it works in the trifle. But I think it is, because I've had a sneaky peek of uh, one we made earlier as well, and it looks fantastic. Yeah. No, and I was doing a bit of reading about Sally. She, <laughs> she's one of these authors that tests you test all of your recipes over and over and over again well, to make my, sure there's consistency. My husband likes that, you see. Right. So how He's so celiac. thin. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what happened. So about 10 years ago, your husband, you know, you found out had celiac, so all of a sudden you had to change the way you cook. I was know. it hard to adapt? Oh, it was really hard, even for somebody like me who loves to cook. Cook, yes. It's really hard, and that's what inspired me to write the book. I wanted to help others. Yes, nice. So, yes. And your first Christmas that was gluten-free, oh. how was that? Was it, <laughs> did it still feel like Christmas? It was not that great. Right. <laughs> it wasn't great, no. We had a few um, hit and miss food items on the menu that year and that's really why I decided to I really wanted Christmas things in my book. No, well, no, well I appreciate that because yeah, that's what you've done. It's hard. You've done all the trials, all the errors yes. and now you've put it into a book for everybody else to make their Christmas gluten free and delicious. Exactly. Mm. Well why should gluten free people not Miss have out. delicious yeah, food? That's it right. just as delicious as normal food. Okay, and she's got over 90 recipes <laughs> in that book so she's been busy. It's good value for money. Okay, so how's your custard going? Right, so the custard, so we had some milk and cream, so we brought that up to the boil, yes. and then I tipped half of it onto the egg yolk mix, right. whisked it up, and then I've just added it back to the pan, so the rest of the milk and cream, and then it just goes back on a low heat, and this is where you've got to be careful, so you just want to be stirring it all the time, you don't okay. want to walk away from this now, Right. and then the heat will just uh, start cooking those egg yolks, and it will just start to thicken. You don't want to take it too hot, because it will curdle, okay? okay. so it's, a, it is a, just a, a part of the recipe where you want to get it right, and then what we're going to do is strain it through a sieve and then let it cool down. And then just that corn flour as well, once that's cooked out and the uh, egg yolks are cooked, it's going to go nice thick mm. custard. Okay, so don't walk away from your custard. No, don't. <laughs> Can I just say something? If you, if you really don't have time or the energy at Christmas to make this, Quite acceptable to use a commercial one. Oh, you can you do that. Just yeah. make sure Don't it's encourage him. He looks, <laughs> he looks like free books. I mean, if you've stuff. got lots of children, and I know what it's like, so you can cheat. There you go. Mm. Nice, nice. There you go. So get the right commercial brand, and you won't have to make it yeah. from scratch. But if you've got time, make it from scratch. Yeah, it's good fun. Yeah. Better. As long as you don't muck it up. That's why you're stirring. That's why, that's stirring. why, that's why, watching that's why he stirs, <laughs> Sally, not me. I don't want to muck it up. <laughs> nice work. And hey, what else, you know, in this book? What, what have you concentrated on? Is it all facets of food? Uh, yes, it is. There's a chapter on baking, which is very popular at the moment. 
Uh, there's desserts, there's meals, which mm. has got ideas for breakfast, lunch and dinner. There is a children's section too. Oh, great. Because children's birthday parties must be a nightmare for mothers of, or fathers of um, gluten-free children. Constantly so, giving, Sally, constantly giving. So why don't giving. you make the whole birthday party gluten-free? There you go. That entire time I've been stirring this custard because I didn't <laughs> want to muck it up. And look at it, I think I've done a good job, Sally. It's fabulous. Yeah, Mark, you're happy? Yeah, so it's thick and it's nice and glossy. Yep. So Gorgeous. that's the stage you're after. And then we'll just pass it through the sieve mm -hmm. and okay. let it cool down. Mm -hmm. Yep. And this is what you're left with. Yes. It's beautiful, thick, rich, cold custard. Lovely. Oh, oh it smells incredible. Mm. We did a good job of that, team. That looks amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Look at it. Okay, so we've got this trifle, the gluten-free raspberry and white chocolate trifle. What do we need to do now? Well, this is our cooked sponge cake, which I've now cut up. And I'm just going to start layering it up in the bowl. Yep. And, and then I've got some white chocolate here, and I'm going to make a garnish as well. So really simple. Just some white chocolate, just melt it, so you can do that over a, a bain-marie or a double boiler. Um, or in the microwave if you just give it sort of blasts, sort of, um, you know, 15, 20 second blasts. Right, so you don't want to boil the chocolate in the microwave. No, no, you, you don't want to melt you, you it. You don't want to yeah. burn it, you'll still be able to burn it, so just little blasts of heat, keep stirring it around just until it melts, it's quite handy actually. Nice work. And then onto a piece of grease proof, proof, and then I'm just going to spread it with this knife. Do you get it? Mm. That, Sally? This is, um... This is masala. Uh, oh, well, nice, yes. yes. So okay, good. You can use anything you like. Yeah. Sherry's the traditional one, but masala's well, good as well. Well, personally, I think the sherry makes the uh, trifle. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, okay. So this is a masala one today. A different opinion here mm. on the trifle. But this is the great thing. Look, I love this bowl you've got. Well, if you don't have a fancy bowl like that, you can just put it in anything, really, Of course you? you can. Yeah, there yes. you go. That's what I love about Sally's book, Goodbye Gluten, because, you know, effectively food brings people together, right? But if you're gluten intolerant or you're celiac, sometimes it can cause division. So this is really bridging the gap, isn't it? <laughs> that's right. You never get invited don't to want any uh, anyone's house. <laughs> yeah, that's right, yeah. Um, and if you're hosting for people that are gluten intolerant or celiac, then, you know, you don't want them to sort of have some strange meal on the side. No. You want them See, I everyone. know how that that's feels right. as well, because I'm oh. a chef and oh. no-one invites me for dinner. Oh. Oh. No-one wants to cook for me. Well, I have that a bit too. No, I don't, horrible, know, I don't know what to do about it. Well, look, both of you, you're coming around to my place for a barbecue then. There you go, <laughs> down. And I'll I take a trifle home. Hand. Okay, so right. it's about layering, is it? Yeah, it's Sally? about layering. Yep. So, you, so you go your sponge, yep. then you go your masala, and then some custard and some beautiful looking raspberries. Raspberries. And you can oh, use any that. berry fruit, because berry fruit is around quite a lot at Christmas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think that's, you know, that's, that's a perfect centrepiece, isn't it, for uh, Christmas. You know, Christmas dessert, you've got the custard on there, the raspberries, the sponge. You know, it's, it's, it's probably even better than a traditional one, and there's no gluten in it, so mm. I mean, it's just even better. Right, and then I've got this, so I've got this white chocolate here. Yes. So I've got another piece of grease proof on. And then I'm just carefully rolling it up so we get a nice tube. And then we're going to pop that in the fridge and let that set. And this is what we are this left with here. This is what we here. end up with. All the secrets get revealed here at the cafe. This I is great. I love doing this. I love doing this. This is exciting. Exciting. Just, oh, just wow, pull, look at that. Pull the sheets oh, apart like that. goodness. And there you've got these that lovely a way. white chocolate curls. Because normally we, we, we would do it onto a... You know, onto a, like a marble slab, temper the chocolate, and then we'd have to let it set, and then just at that perfect oh, temperature, oh, you, you can sort of shave uh -huh. it with a tool right. or, or the back of a knife. Yeah. But this is like so much better. This there you great. go. I'm gonna, I learned yeah. something <laughs> new about that. Okay, Mark, we just need Oh, we've got some cream as well. Cream, please. Can't have a trifle without a cream. Spatula or something, that'll do. Yum. Tiny spoon. The precision. Oh, look, look at that. You know, Christmas oh, is what, six spring. weeks away? We'll just leave that. About that. Um, this looks delicious. So just cream on top, yes. and then these and then just, just you can just with, be as creative oh, as that. you like with this. I have to say, when I was when we were doing the book, we had to do the trifle three times. Oh, we got <laughs> oh your husband must have hated <laughs> it. How convenient. <laughs> no, we kept um, having little mishaps with it. Right. So we did do it three times. And that's it with 90 different recipes in that book, Goodbye Gluten. Um, that's, you've done a lot of testing, haven't yep, you? Yeah, And it's all about, too, I guess, not only creating that delicious meal that's gluten-free, but you start from the really basics, and that's what Sally's put on the book, just as simple as getting your gluten-free flour ready. And that takes baking to a whole new level, doesn't it? Sure does. Look at that. There we go. Well Are you done. happy? I'm happy. I'm happy, too. I'm really happy. Oh, thank you very much for taking this 
his own. No, we'll eat it towards the end of the show. Hey, congrats on another great book. Thank you. Goodbye, Gluten, and a goodbye to you too. Thank you. you. Might see it at the end of the show, though. Yeah. It's going to be delicious. And, of course, the recipe, if you want, is on our website, thecafe.co.nz. And making this with Sally and Mark was great. Look at that. Isn't it a work of art? How would you like that on your Christmas dinner table? That's like a single serve, right? <laughs> <laughs>